I'm not sure why Venom lied about Peter Parker being Spider-Man, because he's not. It's clear as day my dog Lucy is Spider-Man, can't you tell? Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. It's Spectacular Saturday, you know what that means guys. It's time for us to continue the Spectacular Spider-Man. Also, Merry Christmas guys, hope you guys had a great holiday. This is Season 2 Episode 7 of the Spectacular Spider-Man Identity Crisis. That title. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this fucking episode. First of all, the last episode, Growing Pains, was a great episode, really enjoyed it. But they had to end on the biggest what-the-fuck moment of the show in my opinion. Venom crashes in. After J. Jonah Jameson's like, I want to find that Spider-Man. Because he's all pissed because, of course, his son and everything. And what happened to his son. And he's like, you know, he's like in a straight jacket begging for power and shit. Like, you know, he's lost his mind, basically. He's like, I'm going to get that Spider-Man. Venom crashes in. And people pointed this out, too. Venom loves breaking windows in the last episode. He just kept breaking shit. Breaking windows and just running into places and shut shit. Came to speak. And he tells J. Jonah Jameson, Peter Parker is Spider-Man. It's like, and then it cuts. God damn it, I cannot wait for this fucking episode. I'm so excited because how are they going to handle this? Because we just saw, most of us, saw Spider-Man No Way Home and what happened there. I'm not saying, obviously, the show's going to follow that formula, but I'm excited to see what they do here in terms of how he, he goes about explaining this. Like, does, does, does this carry on now? Like, everybody now knows? Or does something happen? I don't know, but I'm so excited. I love, the fu I love this fucking show, and it's unfortunate that it's almost over. We're literally in the, like, what, the back half now of season two? It's really sad, but at the same time, I love this show so much, I'm going to keep praising it for the rest of my life, because it's so damn good. So, let's get into now, guys, episode seven of season two, Identity Crisis. Let's go. Then how is it you're the only photographer getting pictures of the web slinger in action? Look, he rings my cell to tip me off when he's about to fight a baddie. Good, good cover. Good cover. I knew it! Just in case. We're ready to run with this. Oh my god, just in case they're ready to run with- oh my god, it's terrible. Any chance Pete and Spidey are one and the same? Any chance? Think about it. No. No. That guy drew a picture of her? I was like, what's going on here? Oh, they start thinking things through, like, no comment. The prodigal son returns. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is bad. What really happened? Yeah, how about you tell them? How about you tell them? Mm. Why don't we catch up over coffee? We're quite unimpressed with the bugle. They haven't run our big scoop yet. Well, I mean, because they're still investigating, so... Oh shit, did they run the article? Uh-oh. Swing us a web. What? Oh my god, they were about to kiss. Holy shit. Hello? They are about to kiss. That's crazy. Then again, he still has feelings for her. She has feelings for him, so... Yeah. Oh shit. It's all about hurting you. Oh shit. Oh! Damn, okay. Okay, this is bad. He's actually gonna pull his mask off. Okay, never mind. Ooh, nice. Prove you're not Parker. Prove you're not Parker. I mean, exactly. Secret identity. Ooh. No, I do not. She always yells. No, I do not. Oh my god. Yeah, what's with the crutch? This is terrible. Why are you sitting up there without a mask on, exactly? I, I don't know if you will admit it, though. Every guy in the joint would know what to do with that info. Jesus Christ. Back off! <laughs> nice move. That was dumb. Uh-oh. This guy! He's my biggest fan. Which is... sad, really. We'll show you sad! 
<laughs> Which is sad, really. Jesus. They tell me you and Pete go way oh back. Oh, God. Kim, we're like brothers. Yeah, sure. Should have seen it sooner. Oh, my God. He actually got the mask off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. You save yourself. <laughs> it doesn't really do much. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh! Jesus Christ. Little web balls. Nothing. Damn. What are those supposed to do? Jesus Christ. I like how massive he is, though. They got a pretty good size for Venom. Yeah, crawl in the helicopter. Jesus. Nice save. Okay, good save. Oh, shit. Oh! Jesus Christ. It's like a whole big giant fight sequence. That never ends. Whoa. Jesus. Oh! Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Might reveal who Venom is, then. Maybe. Like, to people who see him. Nice move. From the back. Oh. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> Bat time. Oh, nice move. Jesus. <laughs> They're fighting through the whole damn school. How many floors? Uh, th this is impossible. There's not that many floors in the fucking school. Come on. Ooh. Okay, yeah, lift, the, lift, lift all of it. Sure. Holy shit. God. Just punch, punch, but oh shit! You're gonna eat him? Oh, okay. The liquid. We'll take that cleanser now. Whatever you say, bro. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's crazy. Hmm. It's gonna go down the sewer drain. Yep. Hmm. No, I actually loved Peter at first. Mm. We're Venom! We're Venom! Jesus. Yeah. Venom's like twice his size. <laughs> hey, did I mention? You just agreed to play Nick Bottom in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, a jackass. I guess. No, I do. Do you think Peter Parker is Spider Man? No. Would you go out with me Saturday night? Oh my god. So I dug up the security footage. Okay, pause. This is where the rumor must have started, but come on. I mean, would the real Spidey ever show his face in public? Thank you! Yeah, Peter Anderson. said, okay. Innocent, it all worked out. That's good. You can't win them all. Yeah. As I suspected, another fantastic, spectacular episode of the Spectacular Spider-Man. Holy crap, this episode was good. Venom... Gave no fucks. There was a giant, giant fight sequence that lasted for several minutes. Going all through the damn school. It was chaos. And it was so good. And I like how they opened the episode with Peter being interviewed right in J. Jonah Jameson's office. And asked, you know, all these questions. And making the point of, how, how come you're the only like photographer really getting pictures of Spider-Man? Spider-Man calls me up right before he goes to fight somebody. Like, it's a good cover. It's a good cover. But, hmm. But... What I like throughout the episode, they're cutting to the reporter. I forget his name, but we've seen him a couple times. But he was interviewing everybody that's ever met Peter because he was told to interview everybody that Peter's ever met to kind of see where they line up. And I like the little part with Aunt May looking around and like looking behind her couch. Am I being punked? Like, like seriously, you're asking if my nephew is Spider-Man? Like, I think she may know, but she plays it off. But maybe she doesn't know. I don't know. But I think that she hasn't. An idea, but anyways, I like the little response, and then of course goes to Eddie, and he's like, "Why did I, we were like brothers?" And I, Peter Parker is Spider Man. Like, come on, come on. No one else is really saying that. Now, what I liked is that Doctor Connors with his wife, they're like, they're like, they laughed it off at first, and they're thinking, "Well, it kind of makes, it kind of makes some sense here and here." Like, well, what about that? What about? And there's like no comment because they thought, "Wait a minute, it would explain a couple things if he was Spider Man." So throughout the episode, we had a bunch of reporters following Spider-Man, which was, or Peter Parker, as they were under the assumption that he, that he was Spider-Man. And what I liked is that 
they were kind of in the way, but at the same time, every single time they think they're going to get the scoop, it always, of course, falls apart. But the opening where um, it's Gwen and Peter, and they leave, and they're getting bombarded, and they go and hide in this, like, like this, like, statue or some sort of structure or something. It was like a structure, like some sort of art structure. They almost kiss. Which makes sense, because Gwen has, of course, a lot of feelings for Peter. Peter has feelings for her. And then, of course, there's the phone call from Harry that stops that. But it's like, I think they put that in the episode because they're showing that they still have feelings for each other. And even through all this craziness of, like, Gwen even laughing, like, you're Spider-Man? Like, no, because all these reporters are asking, are you Spider-Man? Like, you, know, you know, shoot a web. You know, it's like all this shit. It's like, she laughs it off. But even through all of that craziness they just experienced and they're hiding from those reporters, their feelings come out. They're that close. They're about to kiss. So it's interesting. So I felt like, because they could have easily not had that, but they included that little bit of almost kissing to kind of prove the point that there's still feelings there for them, obviously. So we had Eddie, of course, as Venom, going around and attacking Spider-Man throughout the episode. That giant fight outside of the school and then into the school and all over the school was bonkers. And now it made more sense why they showed Eddie showing back up at Dr. Connors' lab because he was there to get that formula, that like gene cleanser or something to basically take away Peter Parker's abilities to be Spider-Man. And his whole point was to take his powers away. And then all the villains would know who Spider-Man is, but Peter can't defend himself. So basically he would die. Basically, because they had that one thing. I think he was interviewing Mysterio, the reporter. I think he was interviewing Mysterio. I think it was him. And then it cuts to all these guys like standing there like, yeah, we would love to know if Spider-Man's real identity, if it really is Peter Parker. It's like, I think at the end of the episode, obviously, thankfully, he got cleared. But still, man, this like they're setting this really up to be a really bad situation. And I was wondering how far this was going to go. And then the whole sequence between Spider-Man versus Venom was really interesting, especially in that whole sequence outside in the, in the school and everybody trying to help him out. And like, even, uh, I think it was like a principal or a teacher, like, like there were students from people that like helped him up on the staircase and they're dropping in the middle of all the winding stairs. There's not that many floors in the school, but it was a cool visual thing of them falling like rapidly down, but it's like, there's not that many floors in the school, but whatever. But then the, then, then the gene cleanser was used to then use on venom, which actually makes sense because, We've already, we've already defeated Venom once, and then what they were sh- highlighting a little bit is the sound. It's like he, he, uh, Peter grabbing the bat, slamming it into the lockers, and that ringing sound. <laughs> like that shit, like you see like it's like freaking out. And we've seen this, of course, in the Venom films, Carnage, we saw that in Venom Let There Be Carnage, we saw that same sort of effect in terms of sound really affecting the symbiote. So they really highlighted that that in this episode. And also in that the lab area where Gwen was for a little bit with a teacher and um, somebody else. I think, I think it was that girl that Flash is trying to go after, I think. But um, but the chemical that exploded and that landed actually on of uh, uh, the symbiote was, was reacting that same kind of way. And so what I liked is that Flash Thompson is a big fan of Spider-Man. But he, obviously he's not a fan of Peter. But he's like helping him out. He's like, he's wearing a Spider-Man suit. Those guys showed up at the beginning of that before the fight for Venom comes in. And uh, and how Spider-Man's like, yeah, Flash, he's my, he's my biggest fan. He's like, it's weird. It's weird for Peter to go, yeah, Flash Thompson is my biggest fan. Then Venom shows up, shit gets crazy. He takes off his mask while they're outside still. That was kind of crazy. And he still somehow puts on the mask. The whole fight ensues. It's really, really good. It's a really great fight. Like literally, th- there was so much action going on. I was like, my God, like how much more are they going to keep going? And they keep going with the action, I guess, because at the end of the day, for a lot of people, Venom is the, is the biggest villain to get Spider-Man. And especially with him at the last episode, telling J. Jonah Jameson in front of all those people, Peter Parker, is Spider-Man making that claim, it would make sense as his fight would go as far as it does. It, it does because of the fact that too, is Eddie, Eddie and Peter were bros at one point, actually friends. And then everything kind of fell apart. And then, of course, look where we are now. So it makes sense that the fight would go as long as it did. It was really well done. They're both getting the upper hand at times. And then ultimately, of course, you know, Peter shoves that vial down his throat. And the symbiote escapes, unfortunately. So I don't know what they're implying there. Although the symbiote is still around. So I don't know. Eddie is taking, I guess, some sort of psych ward. I'm not really sure. Because he's like, we are Venom. We're going to get you. He's, like, losing his fucking mind. Like, okay, buddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> like... You're going to be okay? No, he's not. Um, 
I really enjoyed how they how they told the story. I think they did a pretty damn good job, and I'm really excited to see what happens next because the symbiote is still out there. So I wonder if it's going to come back at some point, or I don't know. We still got a couple episodes left, so who knows what they'll do? But now with Peter being cleared as innocent, what happens next? Like, what's the next? Because I'm thinking there may be still people and maybe even villains that think that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, even though he was cleared and innocent. I don't know. What's, what's the thing in the end there? Because Gwen's father, uh, uh, towards more of like probably in the middle of the episode, something like that, had like a criminology 101 class about identity theft. Kind of tied in a little bit to what, what was happening in the story. But at the end, he was just talking to Peter about keeping our identity, you know, you know, hidden and whatever. Like there was certain wording, like wording words he was saying to Peter. And Peter was the only one in the room that it seemed that kind of implied maybe Gwen's father knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man? I'm not sure. But I'm curious because I'm thinking some villains might still think Peter is Spider-Man. Even though he was cleared, maybe they'll still think, hey, this, this, might, this, might, be the, this might be the same person. So, so that, this may put Aunt May and others in danger still because even though they cleared him, it doesn't mean that it's not true that he's not Spider-Man. So I don't know. This could be really bad because he was in the spotlight for, you know, a bit there. So who knows? I'm assuming he still has a job. We'll see. Yeah, well, also, Dr. Connors and his wife, they're losing control, authority of their lab. It's, that's not good at all. Not good at all. So, overall, really good episode. Really loved how they went about telling it. Crazy ending there. The symbiote's still out there, so who knows what's going to happen to that. But, loving the hell out of the show. What you guys think of this episode, guys? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.